Cafe Networking, the podcast to connect and promote entrepreneurs and business experts. I'm Tom Riach, an American known as the king of networking, connecting people and speaking for my studio in Campinas, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Today we're going to talk with Jerry Fu, and he's joining us from Houston, Texas. Jerry is founder and owner of Adapting Leaders that helps Asian American professionals who want to get better at leadership, specifically conflict resolution. Jerry, what are some of the common mistakes people make with conflict? Absolutely. Thanks for having me on, Tom. Yeah, the, the first mistake is one that I've been guilty of many times before getting better at this, which is avoidance, is somehow convincing yourself that it's not that big a deal and that somehow you'll get over it if you just give it enough time. So that's the first one. <laughs> so just not facing it, right? Pretty much, yeah, but not only not facing it, but also just keep trying to find a way to, to justify not having it, to think that it'll somehow go away on its own. Well, I, I see that you were fired, and you said you restarted after being fired. I myself mm -hmm. was fired, so mm -hmm. I, I think probably the, the first thing is that is avoidance, or you try to convince yes. yourself that you know it's everybody else and it's not you. Uh, exactly. is, is that the internal conflict? Uh, that's one of them. And I think there's just a, a lack of confidence, at least I know for me, a lack of confidence in being able to feel like you can solve the problem. Uh, because the second mistake that I've been guilty of is charging ahead with no plan. Mm -hmm. It's thinking, okay, I know I can't afford to sit still. But you charge ahead without really doing your research or studying the issue. And then you realize that you're woefully unprepared for a conversation and you have no idea how it's going to go. All you know is that uh, you have a very high chance of antagonizing the person or antagonizing the problem. And we're making it worse, basically. Well, I, I found that myself. I think many times we look to the past and we forget the future. And mm -hmm. whatever we've done has changed. The world's changed. The world mm -hmm. changes as we're speaking, right? So, mm -hmm. so more forward thinking because conflict exists and it's going to exist, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, you know, there's healthy conflict and unhealthy conflict. So unhealthy conflict comes from mismanaged expectations, right, or failed expectations, much like two cultures, right, come into, come into play and not, not the side knows how to really handle social etiquette, right? And all of a sudden, boom, you have a conflict. Right. Um, right. You know, broken promises, that's a, that's a conflict. Uh, the The current you know version of you versus the future version of you that's a conflict that's a good conflict you know challenging yourself to say hey don't just settle for what it is uh but yeah when people realize hey you know what i can either wait for conflict to come to me which is usually the bad kind or i can seek out you know uh conflict in a, in a healthy and productive way and be proactive with it and actually get better at this in, in a way that not only uh, gives me peace of mind and closure, but to also bring closure to the people that I'm, I have relationships with. Well, and speaking of those relations, you, obviously you have a focus on Asian Americans. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and we do have to admit that there seems to be some conflict, but different points of view looking at the same thing. Uh, oh, absolutely. But you're not only focused on that. You really, your clients are, are everybody, anybody, right? Technically, yes. Um, you know, we always t joke about in coaching, if you don't niche down, you're just basically a boring coach, right? You're just like, oh, who do you want to help? You're like, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Just like, eh. <laughs> but here's the interesting thing, Tom, is that when uh, we choose a niche and we say, hey, I'm going to position myself differently and say, I'm going to focus on conflict resolution for Asian American leaders. Uh, you know, I have a heart for them. I know what I went through. I know what I, how I want to help them. But um, Either one of one of two things happens, right? Either people say, "Hey, I'm in that niche. I want. I think I want your help." Or mm -hmm. people say, "Oh, I know someone in that niche. Maybe I can introduce you." Uh, and also, the third option really is to say, "Hey, you know, I'm not in your maybe your ideal clientele, but I do struggle with those pain points. Uh, can we still work together?" And of course, uh, the you know, unless there's a, a blatant conflict of interest, right? And there's another conflict. <laughs> yeah, well, but, but, but to but the, not. you know, today's world, uh, mm -hmm. and take it from my point, I'm not Asian American, I'm not Asian, uh, but mm -hmm. uh, I could have, or be working with an organization, uh, and that's mm -hmm. more common. I oh, can yeah. have people in my organization from the whole world, so I do have to understand uh, the cultural mm -hmm. differences of, you know, amongst all cultures. Absolutely, So, yeah. so, I mean, so you, you, them, you could yeah. help me, that's the question. Absolutely. Yeah. If you, if you are Asian American or you work with Asian Americans, uh, you know, you're going to have to know how they think. And right. so, yeah, absolutely. This is, uh, this is useful for anybody. This will, I may not work with everybody, but this is useful to everybody, I believe. Absolutely. Good. Well, Jerry, I want to thank you for coming to the end of our time, but let everybody know how they can find you. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, you can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, just look for my profile or you can go to www.adaptingleaders.com. 
uh, you know, my given just how global and connected a world this is, uh, my workshops and coaching can be done in person or on the phone or virtually on Zoom. And uh, if you go to my website, uh, we actually, this is really exciting news, Tom. This is the first time I've been able to announce this to anybody. Uh, I have a free download. Uh, in exchange for an email address uh, that will give you a, a simple framework for navigating hard conversations, whether it's with a colleague or a boss or somebody else in your life that's important to you, uh, you know, happy to give that away to people that need the help, uh, you know, to get through these things. Great. And um, more often than not, conversations are hard and not soft, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little, spent a little too much in the oven. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you again, Jerry. And for our audience, it's Jerry, J-E-R-R-Y. And the last name, Fu, is F-U. And again, you'll find him on LinkedIn. And again, adaptingleaders.com. You can get your free guide to understanding hard conversations, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And you can even schedule a free 30 minute, no, no strings attached consult just to tell me your story or if you need help working through, you know, how to navigate a conversation. Uh, that's all complimentary. So yeah, happy to get to know y'all and happy to help y'all. And worthwhile getting to know Jerry, right? Hey, thanks. <laughs> Take care. Okay. Let's try to avoid the conflicts. Absolutely. Thanks, Tom. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, and they're an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information on their website, which is focusmi.com. Thanks for listening. Until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast. 